I don't know about you, but most of the time that I spend in custom games is just waiting for competitive or other game modes. Workshop and custom games are just kind of waiting rooms for the next match. They're great for getting warmed up for tryhard games too, and I've never really seen a list that has great game modes to play to either enjoy with friends, to chill and hang out, or to get warmed up and ready to roll. So today I've compiled a list of my top 10 personal favorite game modes to play while I wait. My name is Nate, and welcome to Blizzard Guides. There are quite a few different game modes that I found here. I tried to have at least three to four modes that fit in a category. So whether you're solo or grouped, just trying to have fun or get warmed up, or you just want to practice and improve, there's something for everybody in this list. Now, make sure to show support to the people who created these. I have the links to the workshop websites, not the actual codes in the description. So go support them there. Go thumbs it up. Go show them support. I did not make any of these game modes. I'm here to just showcase their work. Also, this list is in no particular order, so let's get into this video. Most of you have probably heard of the website, or at least seen, Scribble.io, which is a fun internet version of Pictionary, which I actually used quite a bit while I was waiting for competitive matches back before when you couldn't queue for custom games, and me and my friends would play that all the time. However, now you can actually remove a lot of that hassle by doing it straight in Overwatch. There's a lot of really sick keywords, the drawing tool is easy to use, and honestly, this one is really high quality and very well made, so I really personally enjoy it and it's something that you should say to your custom games by putting the code right here, hitting the save icon, and uh, giving it a nice name. Uh, this one is like a really sick one just to just to chill out with your friends a little bit after a tilting game or something like that. And it, it, it honestly it helps your team bond, which is a stupid reason, but hey, it's there. Next up at number nine, we have the run from the black hole game mode. This one is a more unique mode that I personally discovered pretty recently, and as it turns out, it's actually really customizable. With the ability to make the black hole grow every second, or you can make it chase players, or you can even give players control of the black hole and have it fly around and try and attack people, so there's a lot of options for what you can do. And your abilities will do different things, such as knocking people back, and you can make punches give super knockback, and a bunch of different things like that. I actually really like this one. It can be tilting though, so if you and your friends may not get along if you're you're trying to throw each other into a black hole, maybe it's not the best game mode to have, but if you and your friends are pretty lighthearted, honestly, this one's a really good game mode, and I use it a lot, and I love playing this with my friends while we wait for custom games, or I guess competitive games. This is a video about, yeah, you know. Coming in at number eight, this one is for people that are trying to warm up with a group, or even if you just set it to public, this one's really, really good for warming up. It's Dual Arena by Saida. This guy has made some really sick custom games, which I will mention later in the video, so stay tuned for that. But basically, this one is a 1v1 arena. It's a really, really good way to get into the game and get warmed up because you're thinking about 1v1 duels, and it turns out that if you actually practice 1v1s before you play a competitive match, you're more likely to win duels in the competitive match. I personally have noticed this, my friends have noticed this, so if you're looking to get warmed up with your friends and also just have a fun time, this one is a really solid mode and it works really well and it's very well made, which I, I guess I just repeated myself. But hey, definitely save this one too. I, I have this one on literally every single account that I have because I play it so much. Next up, coming in at number seven, we have a clone of Kovacs Aim Trainer. I guess it's actually not really a clone, it's just a practice aim arena thing, but this one's awesome. It was made by PMA Jellies and it has a ton of insane features. You have flicks, flying targets, juggling, and many more, which I will show on screen. This is way better than any aim trainer that I've ever used, specifically just because it uses Overwatch character models, but also has just the straight up target aiming, and it's very, very high quality. And honestly, this is the only aim trainer in Overwatch that I use now. I don't use any of the practice range modes or like aim arena anymore. This is basically the only thing that I use. So I highly recommend this if you're a solo player looking to improve their aim while they're waiting for a competitive match or if you're just looking to warm up your aim and you don't really want to play with other people or have other people to play with Peppa Hens. Next up at number five, a very fun one, and honestly just a really sick one that I, I didn't even know existed. If you really don't know what custom game you want to play, just why not play them all? This one is called Island Party, and it has every game mode. It has ones you're familiar with, like Anna Paintball, Hot Potato, Doom Sumo, Mercy Boxing, but it also has other weird ones like Torb Hammer Only Challenges, Echo Racing, Winston Sumo, which is also really cool, and that one's way more fun than Doom Sumo, honestly, in my opinion, because I play a lot of 
Sean Winston, and so I like juggling. But this one has a lot of other custom game modes, and they're adding to this list daily. So it's literally just an amalgamation of every single custom game you've probably ever played. So uh, honestly, this list could be just Island Party. So this one's also a must have in your saved custom games. Coming in at number five, we have Last Man Bouncing. Now, this is actually a throwback to a previous video I did about Overwatch game modes that aren't even Overwatch anymore, which is something that you should check out after you watch this video if you're looking for a few more game modes. But this one was in that list, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to be the last Reinhardt Bouncing. It's a lot of fun. Fire Strike will also boot people. You can hit them with your hammer, and I'm pretty sure that your ult makes you go Super Saiyan, and you can stun them and boop them even further. It's like of actually a really solid game mode the gameplay is intuitive straightforward and i really enjoy it it's not like a daily driver for like uh while you wait game modes but i definitely have enjoyed it before and i've played it a lot with my friends in the past so if you haven't seen this one before and you want to try something new definitely put it at the top of your list and try it out as soon as you can Coming in at number four, we have a throwback again, but this time a nostalgic throwback to Minecraft. We have a spleef. Now, if you don't play Minecraft, you might not know what that means. It sound, it's like, it's a really weird name, but basically the objective of spleef is to break the floor to kill your opponents. Now, because this is Overwatch and we can't break blocks like we can in Minecraft, the objective is to turn the blue tiles into red tiles under your enemy's feet, but not under your feet because the red tiles deal damage. So basically break the blue tiles to kill them with the red tiles, but don't step on the red tiles because the red tiles will also kill you. I mean, like it, it makes sense. It's basically like a different rendition of Last Man Bouncing, except that you're not bouncing in your break and it's a different game, but it's also fun. Definitely not at the top of this list. Like I said, this list is in no particular order, It's, it, but it's still a solid game mode and I definitely have played it a few times and I definitely enjoyed it the few times that I did play it, but obviously it's not something that I see myself playing quite a bit and I don't think you will either. That's not the point of it. Coming in at number three, one that you wouldn't probably expect to be a really fun game mode to queue with friends like in a small group, but 1000 damage to the next hero. Now, if you're not familiar with this one, the way it works is you deal a thousand damage and you go to the next hero. There's actually two different modes and I, I, I only knew about the regular FFA one where it's just free for all, but there's also a team based version, which is also really fun that I haven't really got to try too much, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that it would be a lot of fun. Uh, but this one's actually really solid to play in a small group of people, even just with two or three people is still a lot of fun. Well, I guess actually like two or three other people. So your group size would be three or four. Um, but personally, we use this one a lot in my group of friends that we play pretty regularly. Uh, this one's like more casual, but it still actually warms you up because you you get thrown with like different heroes and, and you have to like practice and, and play different heroes. So yeah, this one's a solid one. Definitely one that you should also have saved in your game. Basically save all of these is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah. Nearing the end of this list at number two, we have a switcheroo deathmatch FFA. Now this one's actually one that's pretty slept on in my opinion. I've tried it a few times in like the custom game browser and it, it was interesting, but I didn't really understand it. And the way that this one works is that it's a regular FFA deathmatch lobby, except every few seconds, you randomly teleport to somebody else's position and they swap with you, hence switcheroo deathmatch. Now the interesting mechanic about this is the fact that you actually may not always teleport. So it starts out like a regular FFA match until you figure out, hey, wait, if I jump off a cliff and then it teleports me, somebody else will be jumping off the cliff, but then sometimes you accidentally suicide and then it becomes a mental mind game of who can jump off the cliff without killing themselves while killing someone else. And so it actually ends up being a lot of fun. I, I played this with a group of friends for a little bit while we were queuing for competitive and honestly it was a blast now I obviously wouldn't recommend playing this all the time because it kind of gets old the gimmick only works so much but hey for a few games we had a lot of fun and we revisited every once in a while so honestly this is one that you should put into your saved list just so you can have it if you get bored of the regular duel arena or 1000 damage or island party or whatever now, before we get to the last game mode in this list, I have a few honorable mentions. First off, this one's not really a game mode you can play while you wait, but it's so weird that I just wanted to put it somewhere in some video somehow, but it's this weird Widowmaker legs animation thing. It's just creepy. That's all I have to show you. That's it. 
It's just weird. But also I want to bring up some work from Saida OW who he's just like a, an insane custom game maker. He's made some puzzle maps where you have to like know really well hero mechanics to solve the puzzles. It's super difficult. I've played through both of them. I love them. You should definitely go check those out. And then he also has this really insane Ryan 1v1 dual combat AI bot. I don't really know what he calls it, but basically it's this Reinhardt bot that you have to 1v1 who is really good. So any Ryan players or tank players that are looking to get warmed up, please Please play this, try this, practice this. I'm telling you, you're gonna get better by playing this. Huge underrated game mode. And finally, the last game mode that I want to put in the honorable mention section is one from PMA Jellies called Bap Heal Trainer. Basically, if you're a Baptiste player or somebody who plays a lot of projectiles, it makes it way more difficult and you have to heal targets in the air. And this is really, really, really good practice. So if you're a BAP player or somebody that uses projectiles, I'm telling you, your aim will be crazy after using this. I've been doing this a lot, and even though I'm not playing BAP after using this while I'm queuing for a competitive match, playing Hanzo has been insane after this, so highly recommend this one. It's in the honorable mention section just because I feel like it's a little bit niche, and so it doesn't really apply to everybody, but honestly this one's higher rated than most of the ones in this list. And finally, last but not least, at number one, we have Uno. Now, I know that I've shown this actually in the other video that I recommended earlier with the last man balancing, but they've added a ton of features to Uno, and honestly, this is probably better than the Uno that you can buy in the Steam store. They have like new features with the jump in, plus three cards and plus one cards, I think, new animations, the controls are way easier to use, it looks cooler. And uh, honestly, like if you're looking for a really solid game to play while you're waiting for a long queue, Uno is the way to go. Uh, just try not to hate your friends too much. I, I honestly, I wouldn't recommend this one with randoms, uh, obviously just because people will join and leave and you can't really do that very easily with Uno. But if you know you're gonna have a long queue time with a bunch of friends, definitely recommend playing Uno. But anyway, that's this entire list for today. I hope you guys found some that you will use and enjoy. Uh, like really, this list is just made from things that I use every single time that I queue. I have them all saved on basically all of my accounts and at least I have them bookmarked in Chrome. So you should do the same thing. Uh, I love the custom game browser and the workshop mode has been sick. So these are just some of the best ones that I, I feel like are underrated or that people don't really know about or that are just a lot of fun to play. Um, so yeah, that's basically the list. Uh, I kind of freelanced the script again. I, I mentioned that in the last video. I kind of, I'm moving away from writing full scripts and just kind of being me and talking about things. So if you don't like this new style, leave a comment down below. I want to hear what you guys think about this kind of like more laid back, more conversational feel to things. Cause I feel like I don't want to be watch mojo. I want to be Nate talking to you guys and making you cool lists and teaching you cool things. So yeah, just, uh, if you guys could join the discord and give me feedback there or leave comments, I just say join the discord because it's easier for me to see there because I'm way more active there because I don't like reading the comments too much because it, it, it YouTube organizes them weird. But uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, have a nice day. My name is Nate and this was Wizard Guides.